Hey guys, it's that time already, time for my July favourites, so let's crack into it. So my first favourite in July is a bit of a cheat, it's a couple of the add-ons from the Citrus Twist shop. Uh, the first thing is this Madison Alpha stamp set. I adore this stamp set, you will have seen me use it more than a few times. I love the bold sort of chunkiness of it, it's perfect, the perfect size, perfect for Travels Notebooks, perfect for Life Crafted albums, it even works really well as a title card for Project Life, so I am in love with this alpha. Uh, the other thing that I love from Citrus Twist are these enamel dots, they are so good, you can see I've used so many. This is my second packet that I've used so many from. And I have a sneaky third one here. Uh, these were included uh, in one of the kits, I want to say June. Uh, but you can also purchase them separately in the shop and I highly suggest you do. They are perfect. My second favourite in July is, I guess a generalisation, foiling. I've been super into foiling. Uh, I have been experimenting with a few of the sort of additional uh, mediums from Heidi Swap and Mink. My clear winner is the texture paste. It is so good. I have tried the toner stamp pad. I have tried the, uh, I don't know what it's called, the spray, toner spray. Um, but the texture play paste is just my favourite favorite thing to play with. Uh, you just get the most amazing uh, like adhe adhering of the foil but also the super texture like I mean obviously texture paste um, but it is just this 3D effect and it is so much fun so I have been loving doing that. I used it in a video up here, I will link that, uh, for Kelly Stamps where I created my own stencil and used this which is another one of my favorites, this gold star foil. I resisted getting this for so long because I wondered how I would use it, but actually I love it. It's like just a fancier kind of gold, really sparkly, iridescent, just so, so pretty. And my third favourite for July is jelly printing. Um, I have just been having so much fun. I actually picked up my jelly plate a long time ago and I've only used it a couple of times, but if you saw my one little word video this month, and if you haven't, I will link it up here as well. Uh, I did a bunch of jelly printing um, for this month's prompt and I really loved it. And Mel left me a suggestion for someone to take a look at on uh, YouTube. I will leave all the links for all of this stuff down below uh, because I had sort of said that I didn't feel like I had a lot of control over how things were turning out, that it was kind of just hope for the best sort of um and Jackie Jemison um her handle is creations by Jay Sherry uh just shows a few more ways to take a bit more control over the printing process so after I finished filming up my uh, one little word and got the recommendation from Mel uh, I did have a couple more sessions playing around using some of the techniques from her videos and I do feel a lot more in control. So I have had so much fun on several, several occasions, just pulling out my paints and getting messy, not too messy though, um, and having fun with my gel plate. So I have this uh, eight by 10 gel plate. I also had one uh, that I had made myself. You can actually make gel plates. Um, Mine wasn't that great, which is why I ended up just going and buying a proper one. Uh, and so my original plate that I had handmade, I did end up cutting down to the smaller size and a couple of smaller shapes. Uh, and that has also made a big difference to having a smaller plate as opposed to my big one. Uh, means that I can have a bit more control and it's a smaller space to play with. Uh, and I just get these fun little prints, which I think will be perfect for cards. I also wanted to share a few of the Instagram accounts that I have been loving in July. All of these people are new to me followers and they just bring so much joy to my feed. So the first is Ange Loves Paper um, and I just love her style. It's so beautiful and colourful and layered. You can see here, just so, so gorgeous. That's going to be a fairly consistent theme with all of these ladies. 
My second follower is Belza Designs. This is Julie Feifan, and again, it's another jelly art account. She has some gorgeous, gorgeous prints. She also does a lot of classes and that sort of thing. So if you are interested in learning more about jelly art, go ahead and check her out too. Dominique Creates is another new to me Instagram account and I love her work. I've been so inspired by her Positivity Passport journal. Um, I even started one myself, although did not get very far on it. She has some gorgeous layouts, gorgeous traveler's notebook pages and a lot of pocket page um, layouts, which is one of my favorites. Affectionately Amy is another follow that I just am adoring. Her photos are so beautiful and she uses tons of stamps, which is another favorite of mine. So um, I love her traveler's notebook pages with her repeat stamping. And again, another big pocket page maker. Again, something I love to look at. Etta V is this stunning artist. I can't believe I haven't come across her work sooner but her feed is just so full of color and joy it has just been bringing life to me I love her work so 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 much uh, we're in the middle of winter here so this kind of colorful work is just everything and my last new to me follow is Nellie Ann Clem. I just love her work. It is so pretty. Again, she's got some gorgeous positivity passport pages, which I think is how I stumbled onto her account. Um, and they're just so cute. The colors that she has right up my alley. Pastel, sweet. She even does her own printables, which is just amazing. And look at this grumpy face. I just love it so much. So my favorite project this month was a little bit of a long one. Um, over on my Patreon page, I did a little mini book, mini class, uh, just showing a few different ways that you can make a hard covered mini book um, and then fill up the insides of it. And as part of that, my favorite project ended up being this little traveler's notebook mini book that I made. So this is definitely a themed um, traveler's notebook. The size is a bit different. This is a four by six. It's got four by six notebooks in it and it is ice cream themed because one of the things I've been doing in July too is making my own ice cream. So I decided to have a little traveler's notebook with some actual notebooks in it that I could um, use for writing down ideas, um, documenting our failures and successes and that sort of thing. I used the carousel collection for this, perfect collection for this sort of thing. Um, and I just am so pleased with how this turned out. It's just fun and whimsical. And I even managed to use a couple of the pom-poms that Alice sent me, so that was a win as well. Okay guys, that was what I have been loving in July, well a small sampling of it anyway. Uh, as always, let me know down below what you've been loving in July or any time because I'm always open for suggestions. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you again really soon. Bye!